Shower and protect yourself with practical self defense. Lori Wallace is live learning some martial Ooh. arts moves. Yeah, well, I just got a really important tip shared with me from one of the guys there on the mat. He said, if you need to know anything about belt colors, if he's wearing black, he can kick anybody's butt. So I'm going to stay away from that guy because he's wearing a black belt. I am at 761st Martial Arts and Fitness here in South Sacramento. I want to bring over Scott McFarland to talk a little bit about this new location here, opened in January. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, this is a great spot. Uh, a lot of people looking for a place to work out, uh, to learn something new, and that's what you guys are all about. Uh, yes, we offer uh, kids and adults classes for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and kickboxing. So, uh, what we're just trying to do is make sure that everyone has a safe, welcoming environment where they can come train. Um, our kickboxing class is completely non contact, so there's no sparring, no one's going to be getting punched or kicked. Uh, what we really focus on is fitness and learning the techniques and just really just getting after it and getting a good sweat up. Um, our Jiu Jitsu program, as you can see, is full contact. So, here we have a uh, our uh, black belt and the owner of 916, uh, Keith, he's going over some drilling techniques with uh, Billy here. Um, and what they're doing basically is just working on ways to control your opponent while you're staying safe, uh, ways to eventually get past their legs so that you can pin them in a safe position and then start to transition uh, to other attacks or to safely back away. Now, you uh, mentioned 916. You collaborated uh, with this back in January. You guys opened up this place together. 761st, this, this name that you came up with has a really special meaning behind it. Uh, yes, the 761st uh, name comes from my grandfather's tank battalion uh, in World War II. We have their flag up there, and I'm wearing their sweater today. Uh, my grandfather was a very inf influential person in my life. Um, all my grandparents were, but I wanted to pay homage to him and to this unit. Uh, they were a tank battalion in World War II that fought all over Europe. That's really cool. So, a uh, great story behind it. And when you talk about the different types of things you do here, it's a mental thing, it's a physical thing. Yes. Talk about how this really helps people, you know, in more ways than one. So, when we're exercising, we're using our bodies, right? When we're running, we're running up and down the road or on a treadmill. When we're lifting weights, we're pushing up and down or pulling uh, and we're counting. But when you're learning martial arts, not only are you exercising, you're learning a vital skill. So what I tell people is that we never want our students to fight, ever. But God forbid, if you ever have to defend yourself or defend your loved ones, you'll have the skills and the ability to do so. Yeah, and you can see what they're doing there right now. Now, you mentioned kids coming in here, and that's really cool, too. It's an opportunity uh, for kids to build confidence in addition to learning some skills and also getting their fitness in. Uh, yes, of course. Um, we do run a kids program uh, right now. Our kids are really just starting to get into the groove of how to learn the techniques and how to flow, and they all love it. Um, I love the kids program myself. I could teach kids for free all day long. Uh, my schedule doesn't allow me to, but um, the, the kids program, it's really like what we look forward to because we're passing our knowledge on to the next generation, and children can use this knowledge anywhere. Um, you know, if there's a problem on the playground, if there's an issue in the neighborhood, you can safely defend yourself without hurting someone using uh, jiu-jitsu. I love it, Scott. Thanks so much for having us in. We're going to link all of his information to our website at gooddaysacramento.com. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Okay. Don't you want to, like, try to break a board or something and impress us? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's a black belt. He, how am I going to impress you when I'm standing next to a black belt? I don't think that's possible. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Lori.